Here's how to build anything with Grok 3. But why is Grok 3 such a big deal? Why did it break the internet yesterday? You see, XAI, Elon Musk's AI company, had a problem. They wanted to build a state-of-the-art large language model to compete with OpenAI, but they didn't have the compute to do it. So they built this, Colossus, a huge server farm of GPU clusters, 200,000 H100s, which you don't want to know the cost of. And this is the result of all of that compute. Grok3 basically wiping the floor with the competition. But the craziest part is that XAI only started in 2023, and yet they have caught up with the quality of GPT-40 from OpenAI. And this part is actually insane. Grok is the first model to reach a 1400 score in the large language model arena where they test different models. XAI will also release reasoning models, which you can try right now on the Grok website, but they beat 01 and 03 from OpenAI. But why should you build things with the Grok model? Well, you're going to like the answer because Grok is the only AI model service that you can use that gives you $150 a month in free credits. So basically, if you run a small SaaS application that you charge customers for, you can run it for free using Grok. So this is crazy, 150 and all you need to do is spend $5 and let them use the inputs and outputs to further train the model. Now to get started, all you need to do is go to the XAI console and then go to API keys and then create a new API key that we're going to use inside our cursor project. Before we get started with Grok, I want to show you just what's possible. So they added this new deep search function, which is similar to what Perplexity AI has with their deep research. So it's basically a Google killer and it's amazing. I made Grok code up an entire arcade game from scratch. So we're going to see just how good its coding abilities are. So you can see I pasted the code into here and then this was the result. I'm going to refresh this page and you can see the game is working. You can see the balls break up into smaller pieces just like i asked and you have the shooting projectiles even the score at different levels that is awesome the interesting thing about the reasoning model is this is not all of the text all of the thinking tokens from the model elon musk on the live stream specifically said they are hiding some of the tokens so that other companies can't copy their model i do want to see if grok3 can help us initialize our project so i'm going to ask grok3 I said, please initialize a Python call to Grok API, the AI model that you are. And it should be able to do it. So I'm using the deep search function for this so that it actually searches and finds the updated information to call, make the call to Grok. You can see it's browsing the developer XAI page, which is a good start. And now you can see it found the correct code that it printed to the console. So we're just going to copy that. Just paste it into our cursor project. I've already done that, as well as run Python main.py in the terminal. And that has resulted in Grok coming to life and giving us our first result. Now we have the most basic version of a Grok application running. The next thing I want to do is build something a little more complicated. Let's build an AI agent that can kind of act as a news assistant. So I talk with the agent and then it can return some articles that I might be interested in. We can build this with Grok because Grok is specifically fine tuned to connect to external tools using function call. You can see here in the documentation, they have a bunch of information on different tools that you can use, how to connect Grok to those tools. But the best part is that we're going to build this entire AI agent without writing a single line of code ourselves. And we're going to use the crawl for AI package, by the way, for the access to the internet, the agent's going to need to access articles. What I'm going to do is copy this entire, all of these examples so that cursor knows how to reference the function calling. So I'm going to paste that in there. So I pasted in the Grok documentation above and then a separator and then i said let's create an agent application where the user can talk with the chatbot and the chatbot can recommend articles based on usage of the tool to the crawl for ai library and then gave it an example of that and these are the changes cursor came back with this all looks pretty solid i'm just going to accept the entire file just out of curiosity i ran the code that cursor gave me no changes whatsoever and it worked first try so you can see here i had a short conversation with our new application and the result is actually amazing. Rock gave me a link to, I said I was interested in Elon Musk related articles, and then it was able to make a web search using the tool and it returned this article. By the way, I got the crawl for AI example. I pasted into cursor from just their GitHub page. Now, what I want to do is give our agent the ability to crawl the entire website. You could see what cursor did is it just allowed it to crawl a single website. I'm going to say, Please update the code so the agent also has the ability to crawl multiple pages on the website. Then I put a separator there, and then I found this API reference on the crawl for AI docs, run many. I'm just going to be lazy and copy the entirety 
of this documentation, head back to cursor, and then paste it in. Now we can see that cursor has added a new tool to the tools definitions, which is crawl multiple pages. Now our AI agent will be more robust when speaking with the user. It also updated the prompt to say you can crawl either single pages using crawl web page tool or multiple pages using the corresponding tool. Let's see what happened. So I ran Python main.py with the exact changes that cursor returned, didn't make any changes myself. And I said, I want some Elon Musk articles, had some conversation with the assistant. And then eventually the assistant decided to use the multi-page tool to search the CNN website and then return a bunch of articles on and found information on Elon Musk. You can imagine you can run this on a mobile app and create an application where you, the user talks to an AI agent, tells the agent its news preferences, and then the agent will daily return some news articles that correspond to the user's preferences. So do not be fooled by the simplicity of the terminal. Just to prove it to you, we're going to do something even better. We're going to tell the agent, the cursor, to create a UI for our app. So all I'm going to tell cursor is create a UI for this app with Gradio, revamp main.py. And Gradio is just an easy to use user interface uh, app for Python. So we're going to submit that and see what cursor gives us. Now let's see what cursor returned. So it gave us a chatbot class, created a new class for that and chatting with the agent, as well as a UI, create UI function here. This all looks good, except let's run it, python main.py. Oh, and the cursor actually found something, which is that I need to pip install Gradio first. Now, just to show you, cursor is not always 100% perfectly right. You can see it actually got the new Grok application with the UI wrong. I got this error. All I did is I copied the whole error message and then pasted it and I said, what the f what's going on? And then uh, now it's a new version of the application that should work. So I'm going to run python main.py and it created a local URL, which I'm going to open in the browser. And there it is. We have our Grok3 article recommendation chatbot with a nice UI. You can see I asked our Grok3 chatbot about articles on Doge and Elon Musk on TechCrunch. And then it found a bunch of information and even the links to those pages. One thing I want to improve is actually not make it so the user has to supply which article website. I'm just going to add that to the prompt. Use TechCrunch. Don't ask the user. One feature I want to add, which I think will make this Grok3 AI agent really useful is for it to be able to save articles that I'm interested in. So I just talk to the chatbot, it saves its articles to its data store, and that could be a real application you could release as an iOS app, for example. But to make things interesting, what I'm going to do is take our prompt, which is I want you to add a new tool that will allow the agent to save articles that you find to a local file with a summary. Take that prompt and then also give it to Grok, Grok3, and switch agent, which AI actually gives us the better response, Grok or Cloud 3.5 Sonnet inside Cursor. So I have the same code inside Cursor as well as Grok. I'm just going to paste it into here and then submit in both. And Grok 3 has the upper hand, I think, in this since it's using the reasoning model, which Cloud 3 is not a reasoning model, uh, but we're going to see. Real quick, if you're interested in joining a community of other people building the future with AI, then you're going to want to join our new Discord server. Whether you are building for your own personal projects or you want to actually make money with the software applications you build, you are going to want to join. And there is no requirement on technical level. You can literally have no coding experience and still join. I strongly believe the new increases in the quality of large language models like Grok3 recently is going to enable pretty much everyone and it's already done it with Cursor AI. Anyone can code and build software applications and learn 10 times faster than before. So if you're interested, definitely join. The, the link will be in the description. I'm going to spoil the results of the test. Basically, Grok3 outputted a much better response than Cloud3 Sonnet, which is no surprise. It thought for like 191 seconds, which is crazy. And now our AI agent has the ability to save articles in the saved articles folder that you can see here in the file structure. Overall, I'm extremely impressed with Grok3 and I'm very happy with what we got. I was not expecting Grok3 to be this good. I thought it would be a little bit behind the open AI reasoning models, but I guess that's what happens when you train with 200,000 H100 GPUs in a massively customly built data center. I highly recommend you try out Grok3 for yourself. If you didn't follow along with this tutorial, go back to the beginning, try it out, try prompting cursor yourself and copying my prompts and maybe branching off to your own project somewhere in the middle. That's going to teach you how to build for real with these models. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you next time.